Ever find yourself staring at the screen, sipping your third cup of coffee, and wondering, there's gotta be a faster way to code, right? Well, guess what? There is, and it's all thanks to AI. Stick around to see how these AI code assistant tools can make your coding life easier and more efficient. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe and also use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. So imagine this, you're in the middle of a project, deadlines are looming, and you're stuck on a bug that's as elusive as a ninja. What if you had a smart buddy sitting right next to you, suggesting lines of code or spotting errors before you do? Now that sounds like a dream, right? But it's not. That's exactly what these AI coding assistants can do for you. And today, we'll compare five of them, determine their strengths and weaknesses, and help you choose the best ones. First on our tech radar is GitHub Copilot. Now, let me paint a scene for you. At Jelvix, we were waist deep in this intricate machine learning project. The algorithms were complex and the deadlines were knocking on the door. We needed a quick, reliable way to churn out code without sacrificing quality. And that's when we thought, let's bring Copilot into the mix. And folks, it was a game changer. The integration with IDEs like Visual Studio and JetBrains was seamless, no hiccups. And it was like adding an extra coder to every developer's workstation. Imagine being stuck on a Python algorithm and Copilot just chimes in with a function that's almost perfect. It saved us hours. Seriously. Language support? Copilot speaks everything, from Python to Golang. We even had one of our junior devs switch from Ruby to Python, and Copilot helped smooth out that learning curve. But hey, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We ran into a hiccup where Copilot suggested a function that conflicted with our existing code base. Now, it was a quick fix, but it reminded us that while Copilot is genius, it's not foolproof. Always keep your eyes peeled. So to summarize, Copilot helps us code faster, is great for learning new languages or frameworks, and keeps you focused on bigger problems. However, not all code suggestions are 100% correct, and there's also concerns regarding ethics and licensing. Next on deck, we've got Amazon Code Whisper. So a little backstory. Our team at Jelvix was swamped with this massive e-commerce project. Deadlines were tight, and the client wanted some advanced features that required us to dig deeper into AWS services. Enter Code Whisper. Seriously, this tool came in like a coding superhero, with a cape and everything. First off, the real-time code suggestions were a lifesaver. Code Whisper throws in the next line almost before you can think of it. It felt like pair programming, but with a machine. And because it's optimized for AWS, it was like having an extra team member who's an AWS expert. Security is always a big deal for us at Jelvix. Code Whisper's built-in security scanning made sure we weren't leaving any doors open for vulnerabilities. It's like having a bouncer for your code. But here's the thing, Code Whisper can be a bit picky with IDEs we had to shuffle around some setups to make it fit snugly into our workflow. Plus, while it's great for routine tasks, we found it lacking when we dived into more complex AWS features. So, the Jelvix take? Amazon Code Whisperer is fantastic for speeding up your coding with real-time code suggestions, especially if you're deep into AWS. It helps you improve your security, supports multiple IDEs and languages. But keep your thinking cap on. It's not going to replace human intuition anytime soon, since sometimes it struggles with complex or novel coding tasks, has limitations in training data, and may pose potential security risks. Okay, now let's switch gears and talk about mutable AI. But before we do, make sure you're subscribed. At Jelvix, we're all about experimentation. So after wrapping up a project that involved a ton of data manipulation, we thought, 
why not test out some other tools? And that's how we stumbled upon Mutable AI. The first thing that caught our eye was the AI autocomplete. Imagine you're typing out a line of code, and before you even hit enter, Mutable AI already knows where you're headed. It's like a mind-reading keyboard. This feature made our data manipulation task a breeze. In another example, we had this chunk of code that was kind of messy. No shame, we've all been there. One click, and Mutable AI refactored it like magic. It was like hiring Marie Kondo for your code base. But honestly, it wasn't all perfect. We dealt with some challenges. Since Mutable AI is still in its beta stage, we had to navigate through a couple of bugs. Jelvix's verdict? Mutable AI is like that shiny new toy you can't wait to play with. It offers a lot of promise with autocomplete, one-click enhancements, intuitive coding, and can even generate unit tests. But it's still in beta, so be prepared for some quirks, limited in handling complex tasks, and may not be compatible with some VS Code extensions. But after our Mutable AI test run, we were pretty pumped but our curiosity wasn't satisfied yet. So enter OpenAI Codex. We had a client who was super keen on AI-driven functionalities for their new app. And let's be honest, who could resist playing with AI to build AI? So we decided to put Codex to the test. Setting up Codex was like a walk in the park. We spent more time deciding what snacks to order for the team meeting. Once we were rolling, the natural language prompting was a game changer. Instead of cryptic commands, we just told Codex what we wanted in plain English. It felt like having a casual convo with a coding genius. And let's not forget about code completion. During development, we had to switch between Python and JavaScript frequently. No biggie. Codex didn't even flinch. Switching between languages was effortless. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. We noticed that while Codex was quick to suggest code, it wasn't always the most efficient. Yes, it can generate code in multiple languages and process natural language queries, but we had to be super clear with our instructions. It may generate unoptimized code, and there's a risk of replicating biases from training data. OpenAI Codex is your go-to for quick, creative solutions. But make sure you've got your critical thinking cap on because you'll need to sift through its suggestions to get the gold. All right, last but definitely not least, Ask Cody. We stumbled upon this gem while working on a project that had us tied up in algorithmic knots. You know those coding puzzles that make you feel like you're in an escape room? Yeah, it was just one of those days. So in comes Ask Cody, like that friend who shows up with beer to a pizza party. The coolest part, we didn't even have to switch out of our IDE. Ask Cody plugged right into VS Code, and we were off to the races. The natural language queries were a hit. Instead of banging our heads on the keyboard, we just asked, how to iterate through rows in Panda's data frame? And boom, Ask Cody served up a snippet like a pro bartender mixing your favorite cocktail. Hmm, I'd definitely like one right now, but hey, no rose without a thorn, right? While Ask Cody can generate code from natural language queries, can help you learn new syntax and libraries, and integrates with popular IDEs, sometimes it takes its sweet time, especially when we got into more complex queries. And there were moments when we had to get extra specific with our questions to get the answer we wanted. Our take is this, Ask Cody is like your on-call coding tutor, super helpful for quick answers and code snippets, but you might still need to hit the books or Google for the really tricky stuff. All right, look, these tools are super cool, but they're not magic wands. They've all been trained on someone's code and that influences the suggestions you get. So while they can speed you up, you'll sometimes see less than optimal code spit out. And because they learn from existing data, there's always a chance they might reflect some of its biases. And also remember that you can't run these tools offline, which may be a big problem for some use cases. That's because they use hefty machine learning models that your laptop just can't handle. 
Think of it like trying to run a Hollywood quality CGI program on a 10 year old computer. Plus, these models are expensive to train, so no one's giving them away for free. So what's the bottom line? You gotta test these tools out for yourself. What works wonders for one project might not be the right fit for another. The world of AI is evolving fast, and these tools are getting better by the day. But at the end of the day, it's all about finding the right tool for your specific needs. If you're as excited about AI tools as we are, then you won't want to miss our next video on the best AI tools for digital marketing. Trust us, it's gonna be a blast. Now, before you go, show us some love by smashing that like button and leaving a comment. Your support helps us create more awesome content like this. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss out on the good stuff. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.